the hybrid leagues one of the spcs that is part of fifa 21 from the day it's released all the way to the end of time until ea are finally around to completely removing fifa 21 from the servers but despite all of that players just really want to know what's the cheapest way to do this and this is exactly what we're going to be going through today i will show you the players that i have included within each one of these teams as you do need to complete four i will tell you how much each player cost me and how i managed to get them cheap and i'm also going to be giving you tips on how you can trade with these players so that even if you have very very bad packs and you get absolutely nothing out of it you will still be in profit because you managed to make money off trading with some of these players all of this is included within this video but before I do get into it, if you enjoy the content that I'm pushing here, then make sure that you do subscribe to the channel. I give out tips so that you can make as many coins as possible within FIFA 21. This includes many different trading methods across the game. So if you do want to become richer within this game, then I highly suggest subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So that way, when a video does go live, you'll be one of the first to watch it, and this will lead to you also being one of the first people to start the method. And this is where you can truly make some good money. But getting back into the video, the Hybrid Leagues SBC. In total, you need to complete four to complete this whole SBC. This is give me five, seven league boots, the whole nine yards and the first 11. Each one of these have different requirements and progressively gets harder and harder and harder. If you are limited on coins, I highly recommend doing the hardest one first being the first 11, as this gives you the best reward and this is the one where you're most likely to make your coins back. And then you can use those coins to do the whole nine yards, seven league boots, and then finally give me five. If you're not needing to complete all of these and there's only one specific one that you need finishing, then I'll leave time codes in the description down below so you can find the SBC that you're needing to do. So the first one, give me five. The requirements for this SBC is leagues, exactly five, players from the same league, max four, players from one club, max four, rare players, minimum six, team overall rating, minimum 69, and team chemistry, minimum 80. And this is the solution that I have, with a mix of gold players, bronze players, and silver players. We have Sebastian Fassi, which cost me 200 coins, Kane Wilson, which cost me 650 coins, Hiram Mia, which cost me 300 coins, Johan Vazquez, which cost me 450 coins, Milo Spasic, which cost me 150 coins, George Thompson, which cost me 200 coins, Carlos Rodriguez, which cost me 800 coins, Lucas Reed cost me 250 coins, Simeon Misaroli cost me absolutely nothing because I managed to pack this player, Hilal Sudani, which cost me 800 coins, being joint the most expensive, and then finally we have Ahmed Hassan, which cost me 450 coins, being a grand total of 4,250 coins to buy all of these players. This is a very, very cheap SBC, and out of it, you do get a prime mixed players pack. Even though this is by far the cheapest SBC you can do, this is also by far one of the worst. Having a mix of bronze and silver players really fluctuates the price in what you can do. Now, I did manage to get every single player below 1,000 coins, but it did take me a long time. Some of these players originally were listed above 1,000, 2,000, and some even above 3,000 coins. I did take the time to get some bids in, try and get some cheap buy nails, and eventually we did manage to get every single player below 1,000. But it does take a lot of time if you're trying to do this. I recommend for this one, and it won't be the same for the other SBCs that we will be going through in this video, but for this one, add every single player as a concept to the SBC, and just keep on checking the prices. If you do get any of these players below 1,000 coins, then it's good it means you'll definitely be able to make profit out of the pack later on the next sbc is seven league boots the requirements for this is leagues exactly seven players from the same league max three players from one club max three team overall rating minimum 78 team chemistry minimum 85 and number of players in squad 11 with this one you do need all gold players because of that minimum 78 rating by having gold players does make it more expensive but we don't have the worry of the previous spc where those players were extinct so the first player is Sergio Rico Gonzalez, which cost me 750 coins. We then had Hugo Malau, which cost me 800 coins. We then had Diego Rico, which cost 800 coins. We had Adria Pedrosa, which cost me 800 coins. Alex Vidal, which cost 850 coins. Andres Iniesta, which I managed to pack, so this cost me absolutely nothing. Javi Martinez, which cost 800 coins. Jonathan Rodriguez, which cost 800 coins. Oscar Melendo, which was 700 coins. The Thomas, which was 900 coins. And Diego Castro costing 1,000 coins. 
bringing the grand total to 8,200 coins. Rounding this up to round about 9,000, maybe just above 9,000 if you do need to go and buy Andres Iniesta. But by spending this amount of coins on these players, you're looking at getting a Prime Electrum Players Pack as a reward. And this is a 20,000 coins pack. Now, does that guarantee you're going to get 20,000 coins back? No, but it is just a good sign that you're able to trade these players for a 20,000 coin pack, just increasing the chances of you being able to make profit out of it. The next SBC is the whole nine yards. The requirements for this is leagues exactly nine, players from the same league, max two, players from one club, max two, rare players, minimum six, team overall rating, minimum 80, Team chemistry minimum 99. And this is the team that we put forward. Starting off, we have Sergio Asenio, which cost 800 coins, Kika Fabino, which cost 1000 coins, Pal Torres, which cost 900 coins, Pablo Mari, 1400 coins, Jose Angelino, 900 coins, Osmar, 850 coins, Andros Iniesta, this time I did have to buy him, 800 coins, Pablo Sarabia, which was 700 coins, Gerard Delafeo, 950 coins, the Thomas again, 900 coins, and Avaro Morata, 1,400 coins. This team cost me 10,600 coins, and as a reward, we got a mega pack, which is equivalent to a 35,000 coin pack. It's again being a very good sign that we are only trading in 10,000 coins for a 35k pack. Not guaranteed to get any good players out of that pack, but it just increases the chances of making profit. This is what I care about. And finally, we do have the first 11. The requirements for this is leagues, exactly 11. Rare players, minimum 8. Player quality, exactly gold. Team chemistry, 100. And number of players in the squad, 11. This SBC was not the most expensive, but it did take quite a bit of time. And I'll explain why after we go through the players. So the players that were required for this was Anthony Lopez, which cost 1,500 coins. Aurelio Buta, 700 coins. Ruben Bezo, 950 coins. Daniel Carrico, 750 coins, and Tunes, 850 coins, Miguel Veloso, 750 coins, Hanani, 750 coins, Jao Texaria, 550 coins, Ruben Neves, 1000 coins, Bruma, 700 coins, and finally, Nani, 700 coins. And the reason that this one took so long is that if you get every single one of these players, you'll recognize that you do not get 100 chemistry, unless you're extremely lucky and you've managed to pack every single one of these players before. The reason for this is because you need loyalty. Loyalty on a player can only be achieved if you pack that specific player or if you play at least 10 games with them. And because I did just buy every single one of these players, I didn't play 10 games. So I did need to get loyalty for these players. And the quickest way to do this is just by going into a game and forfeiting the match. It does affect your record, but if you do want to do this quickly and if you're like me who just does not care, then this is the quickest way to do it. Originally, there were ways in which you can go and get these 10 matches without even having a loss on your record with it still be done very, very quickly. You can just close the application or disconnect from the internet and just load FIFA back up, go in and do the exact same thing with the squad battle matches. But EA has since patched this and this is still the easiest way to do it by just forfeiting. So this is exactly what I did. For this team, it did cost me 9,200 coins and out of it, I did get a 50k pack being a rare players pack. Once you do complete all four of these teams, you do get an additional reward for completing the whole SBC. And this is a rare mega pack which goes for 55,000 coins. Overall, all SBCs cost me 32,500 coins, which is a very, very good deal, but you can still get it cheaper. For a lot of these players, all I did was just use the buy now option. But of course, if you have the time, you can always maximize profits by putting in bids in. Especially all the gold players in here, you can easily knock off 50 to a couple hundred coins just by putting bids in. Some of the silver and high ranked rare bronze players might be a bit harder to get bids. As said, the first team that I had took the longest for me to complete just because some of these players were going above 2 3,000 coins. And I just refused to buy those players. So I just left them in the concept squad and just waited until they popped up for less than a thousand coins. One thing that I did do, and I also recommend you do the same thing, is look out for potential players that will be good for trading. I normally try to look to see if there's other good deals with bronze or silver players where I can buy a second player and relist them for double the price. 
Unfortunately, I didn't get that when going through this one. But one thing that I definitely did do was look at some of the gold players that I was buying. Looked at their cheapest buy now, knocked a couple hundred coins off, and then just did a bulk bidding method. Bidded on as many different players as possible, and then relisted them later. Pablo Sarabia was exactly that type of player. I bulk bidded on as many as possible for 700 coins. As soon as they all expired, I stored one in my club to use for the SBC, but every other player that I got for Pablo Sarabia, I listed on the transfer market, making me anywhere between 100 to 200 coins profit for every single one that I listed. This does take more time, but it does guarantee that you're making money out of what you're trying to do with SBCs. Because if you do get absolutely no one in your packs, you can always look back and see that you've made a lot of coins just through trading some of the players that you use for the SBC. I highly recommend that you do the same thing. This just becomes a win-win situation. Out of these SBC packs, I got some decent pulls. I didn't get anything crazy that went above 100k, but I did make my money back. I managed to get Berkey, Mendy from Real Madrid, Thiago Silva from Chelsea, and in one pack, I managed to get two Hunter chemistry styles and a Shadow, and then following that pack, I managed to get another Shadow chemistry style all of which are going for the maximum price as they are extinct on the market. And just out of these pack pulls, I managed to make a profit on all of the SBCs, just because of how cheap I managed to do them. This is not including every other player that I managed to get in these packs as well. All these other players didn't go for crazy amounts, but I did just store them in my club to use for future SBCs, as well as I did get a lot of chem styles, position modifiers, which I'll probably be using for trader methods in the future. So with this, because of how cheap that we did these SBCs, we easily made a profit. I'm ready to go into the next SBC with everything that I managed to unlock. And this is also not including how many coins that I've made through trading with players. I didn't keep track of every single player and how much I sold every single player for and the profit that came from it. But I can easily say that I definitely made more than 10,000 coins. So this is just adding to my profit margins. But anyway, this is how you do the hybrid leagues SBC. This seems to be one of the cheapest ways to go through this SBC. And what adds to this is that you're able to make it cheaper by putting some bids in, which I avoided for some of these players. And there's also very easy ways in which you can trade to make even more coins. If you haven't done this yet, I do highly recommend going through it because the chances of you making profit on this is extremely high, especially if you do it the way that I showed in this video. And you don't even need to get a crazy pack pull. You do get a crazy pack pull of it. Let me know in the comment section down below. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.